Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues using a special submod called Old World Blues The Exile in which we are of course playing in Camp Novos with the name The Brotherhood Expedition under Paladin Andronikos. If you'd like to read about him, please go right ahead. So basically, we've been exiled from the Western Brotherhood of Steel, but we shall begin with the expedition. Leaving the safety of the bunkers behind, we have ventured into uncharted territory. The fate of the expedition now lies in the hands of Paladin Andronikos, which sounds somewhat Greek, which is probably true, but we do start with five divisions, three power armor divisions, which is very nice, or ten combat width, which isn't too bad, as well as two infantry divisions, but there are only six combat width, which hurts me internally, but that's okay. The exile. To avoid war with the NCR, the Lost Hills chapter sent Paladin Andronikos on an expedition to Oregon to combat a supposed mutant threat. Andronikos saw this for what it was, an exile, but also saw the opportunity it presented. He was able to take the men under his command and formed the Purple Squadron, but they could only take the equipment they could carry. At least we weren't banished, right? We get National Spirit, Brothered Expeditionary Force. Ooh, that's not very good. We lose political power, recruitable population, stability 50%. We get more war support, though. And we heard a construction speed. Oh, 70%. Oh, the factory output. Oh, my God. Oh, by the way, we're going to play 3.2. Cool. I'm going to leave that on screen so we don't have to click on that yet. Harsh realities. The Brotherhood have never been inherent conquerors, but Amdronikos is not a traditional paladin. He understands it is a kill or be killed world, but how did he handle the primitive natives? How do we handle the natives? Do we just gas them all? Do we just shoot them with laser guns? We'll see what happens. In which, the trip to the front or the north was not an easy one. It was a new environment for all those sent, including Andronikos. Oregon had never been formally explored by the Lost Hills chapter, and thus once they disembarked, the expedition found themselves facing a tribe known as the Carcass Walkers. Andronikos demanded they surrender, but the Carcass Walkers had no intention of laying down their weapons. I forgot, because this is the land of the Carcass Walkers, and I forgot that they existed here, so. Showed his men, ordered his men to show no mercy, lose manpower, get some civvies and arms workshops. A little show of force should be enough to subdue them. One in one, three building slots. Uh, I'd rather not lose manpower in this area because manpower is probably going to be quite precious. Divine intervention. With the carcass walkers dealt with, the expedition now has to look forward towards the future, and which will probably end up going to war with the super mutants. Actually, how strong are they? Oh, oh, factories. Look at that. Yeah, make sure we got enough of that. Um, how strong are the Warren? Because if they're not strong enough, we can just go overrun. Oh, maybe they have no divisions. That'd be really, really good if we could do that immediately. Because usually they die, but. I'd rather kill them off. Oh, and oh, that hit us. That hit us hard. Uh, for this one, let's go inspirational. Oh, and we have another one. Well, at least for pa the paladin here. Let's go inspirational as well, actually. Eventually, when we can. When we can, of course. A vision of greatness. Once the expedition had conquered the Carcass Walkers, Andronikos established a base of operations dubbed Camp Novos. On the first night following their battle with the Carcass Walkers, Andronikos had a vision in his sleep, one where the Brotherhood ruled the wastes from Shady Sands to Capitol Hill. The next morning, he rallied his men and gave a speech to inspirational many shed a tear. So inspirational they shed a tear. They were to embark on a grand crusade to destroy those who dared oppose the Brotherhood. To arms ad anima and ad victorium. Nice. More division attack, defense, factory output, and special forces minimum capacity plus 15. The Andronicos Crusade. Cool, cool, cool. I want to go to war immediately. Now that we've established a base of operations, our scouts have located the mutant threat the Brotherhood has sent us to find. It turns out there's a cave filled with mutants to ourselves. It's just time we do what we came to do and destroy the mutants before they become a threat. And we currently get 0.52. That's not terrible about that oh, minus 70 percent construction speed oh you pain me so much oh and also this is the only thing we could do so beginner occupation the oh, all the lands will be under us 25 um what is this industry confiscated lands i don't know if we get free cores it does is settled more political power but lose manpower um oh we get a core all states we probably won't do that as much as possible the dust is settled now that we've eliminated the mutant threat we must focus on the aftermath mutants still remain albeit scattered and while we have won we lost many many good men Hopefully they don't have too many divisions. Ooh, they might attack us really harshly. But we'll see what happens. Let's see what happens. The first step. And we can't do anything else until we go to war with them. Cool. Well, they usually die every campaign, right? So, I think you guys... Can you guys go right there, perhaps? And can you guys go and do pretty well? They hopefully can't pierce us immediately, right? Oh, they can! And we can't pierce them. Okay, well, that's not good. If we can just break into the war, that should be good. Uh, and we're doing quite well, quite well. They might attack us as we're over here. Cool. And don't worry about that. Just go and support the attack right there. A song for the fun. If you'd like to read about this, please go right ahead. But right now, I'm going to grab more political power because PP is always nice. Head military theorist is not bad. High command? Ooh, that's not bad. I like Knight Rooker. 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 Yeah. Uh, army well, this is the only guy we got. 
And since we're about anyways, 15% is no laughing matter. That is actually quite, quite good. And once we take the warrant, they should be dead. Cool, combat language is done. Let's grab some decryption and some encryption. And you know what? Let's go ahead and get some factory output. More factory output. And they're gone. Well, that's actually really nice. Within the first six minutes of the episode, we've taken someone out. Awesome. Carcass Walker is probably next, though. And, and since we're here, let's go Inspirational, which I should use earlier, and Pain Train. You guys are going to go Inspirational as well. And I'm not really sure what you're going to do next. Oh, we'll wait. All right, let's do that. Dust has settled. Because we want to core this territory as fast as possible. And make sure we do that. And make sure that's actually really good so far. Manpower will go down a little bit, but that's okay. And then we'll do Execute Stragglers. We must ensure that the mutants are not allowed to regroup. Andrakos is personally leading the charge in finding any remaining holdups and silencing them. We're good. And we do a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and toasty. And we're going to lose 500 manpower anyways. Let's just do that. There you go. Because I don't want to lose that manpower when we get there. That's going to hurt our manpower equipment, but it doesn't really matter. Because what we're going to do is... Uh, use a PP, of course. Ooh, are we still getting some compliance? We're still getting compliance, and this will be lowered off anyways. It doesn't really matter. Do we have any... Agency? No? Hmm. Do we create an intel agency with our focus tree, actually? Intel. Let's pause it real quick. No, but so, that leads me to my next question for you, or my first question for you guys. What do you think would be a good name? Should we do Circle of Steel as is true, usually, for when we do an intelligence agency? For the Brotherhood of Steel? Or Western Brotherhood of Steel, at the very least. Circle of Steel, is that, do you think that's good? Let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Is that good enough? Regardless. Let's continue. With, after that... I use for the caves. While primitive, the caves the mutants inhabited can serve another purpose. Andrakos has decided to use the cave system as a new prison and barracks facility named Tartarus. It shall serve as a reminder that those who refuse to die have a worse face fate than death. And we get to core all this stuff. Delicious. Absolutely yummy. Scrumptious. Mmm. Awesome, awesome. And actually, since we did that, we don't... Well, you know what? We did that already. I'm going to keep doing our divisions for now. I'll get this stuff cored first. Phone home. Oh, boy. Searching that ruined vault. Ruined the vault. Wow, that does not... Minus 50% attack and defense and less political power gain? Oh my goodness. But, uh, ooh, changing this. Expand occupation efforts would be really good. Reform purple squadron. Consult the scribes. The land doctrine is nice, which we need to do. Veteran training instructors with military academy uh, training. Not bad. Also, I do want to let you know, we are on historical, so... Ooh, less power armor production costs, more infantry equipment costs, the backbone of the army... Um, I kind of already know which way we'll probably go down anyways. Anything there? Nope. And that's fine with us. Let's, oh, what's this? Focusing on scavenging? No, 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 Oh, I want to do that one now. Let's go grab that one first. And then we'll switch this around to whale equipped army. I think that would be for the benefit of all here. Minus 70% is just so bad. Oh my goodness. But at least we're still building up some civvies. If we need to, let's go ahead and train. No, actually, we're pretty good. And we're slowly getting more daily arm XP, which would be very, very nice. Because these guys need some more guys on here, but the infantry definitely do. Night Patrol 6 combat with. I never use 6 combat with anything. That's so not bueno. But construction basics are quite bu bueno. And we'll get some more. And then we'll maybe do some land auction, probably. Performing squad purple. I do want to do this one, though. Beginner occupation. The expedition cannot survive on laser rifles we brought with us from the Lost House Bunker. We must use the resources we have to create a new military industrial complex. Sounds pretty right. Sounds pretty right. And we'll go with Adam Terrell here. Smooth Tucker and an Infiltrator. Sign us up. And there we go. Up next, expand Cap Nobles, confiscate the land. That wouldn't be bad. Uh, probably this one though, because we get more cities and such. Oh, but first, technology, in which we can phone home. But start doing our land doctrine. Oh, we already had the first one done. Ah, beautiful. So, let's go ahead and do Cap expand Cap Nobles. When Andrakos built Cap Nobles, it was meant to be meant only to station the troops brought with us. With new conscripts, the base must be expanded. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And we'll grab some organized agriculture here as well, because we could use it. Also, to let you know, we're also using the four other mods instead of... Well, we're using Old World Blues, the Exile. Old World Blues, Old World Blues Radio, State Transfer Tool mod, as well as player-led peace conferences for this campaign. Uh, I could probably get rid of that. That won't really matter too much. I definitely want to get you guys bigger, but these guys, more night patrols first. That'd be good. Expand Camp Nobles. We will phone home once we get at least to this one, because I would like to get at least slightly more political power, more stability, more construction speed. If you like to read about the followers of the apocalypse, please go ahead. Uh, do we want them? Eh, it doesn't really matter to us. We'll let them in for now. And confiscate the land. To fuel our expansion, we must have land to build new arms factories. By sending squads into our less patrolled territories, we can secure more land to use. Not bad. 
As long as they don't piss us off too much, we'll be okay with them. Yeah, how, much, how many caps do we have? This coffee half not, not bad. Not too bad. We have 18 caps, so we can't really expand too much. If I was the apocalypse, we can close that out for now. It doesn't really matter to me. But since we're here, night patrols, at the very least, be pleased to come 10 combat with. Cool. Confiscate the land. Thank you. Follow it up with what? Going here. I know we have the extra military factory, but whatever. Oh, come on. Please. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Bueno. Beautiful. One of those B words. Cool. I can do that one just in case. For the future. After we confiscate the land, we will go ahead and expand occupation efforts. We must ensure that those we have conquered do not rebel against us. It would simply be too costly. We shall pursue a policy of full occupation, which will help reduce unrest and expand our production efforts. Very good. That'll be very, very good to do. Alright, it is still 2275. We can do that, but that wouldn't be really beneficial. Currently, we have planes. We love planes, because if you don't have an Air Force, you're going to get screwed. In a good way, so. Cool. And at least we have one intel person. Spy. Spy. Espionage dude. Or woman. Whoever it is. Cool. Yeah, I do like this one. More attack and defense and better surrender limit. I wonder how many more war goals we do get. But getting rid of some of these debuffs and kind of hurting our war score too. Whatever. I think overall it's better to get, this, get rid of that. So, expand occupation efforts. Beautiful. So after that, what can we do next? Recruit outsiders? Recruit arms for the army? Industrial planning? Seize workshops? Well, let's take a look. How many more cores can we get? We found one of seven. Uh, use for the caverns, of course. Or caves. Break the breakers. Rib breakers. Cores all assist by the rib breakers. Marlock tribe. Core of the states by the Marlock tribes. So, the rib breakers. Oh, if you want to read about that, please go ahead. Rib breakers and Marlock tribes. That's all we get free cores. So, basically, that means we should probably go to war with these guys on the right here. And, of course, assimilate the territory as fast as possible. Cool. Actually, what level of power armor do we start with? Is it just scavenge PA, maybe? Oh, boy. I suppose so, since we already saw that. Yeah. Mm. I don't know about that. A sort of control. That's not bad. Arms to the army. Overall, I think, really, this one's better. Arms for arms workshop. Muster the men. Oh, we get even better attacking defense. Utilize pre-war blueprints. Let's phone home and see what happens. Now that we've done what we can, we set out to do, it is time to contact the Brotherhood back home and tell them of our accomplishments. Andrikos is eager to show up all he has done. Us too. The chain choir. Very good. How many divisions does, does this group have? Uh, oh, up to 22. Wow. They will attack us eventually. So we need to be ready for them, but still. I want to get more army XP, please. Actually, we got enough guns. Go and do that. There you go. Gliders. Nice. Let's grab some of that, too. And eventually, get some fighters as well. Yay. There you go. Not bad. Get some more power armor. Oh, if you want to read about that, please go right ahead. The Reclamation Authority, the Old World Secrets, will be ours. Great. Anything else here we can really do that we really care about? Consumer goods. More stability would be really nice. But ask the followers help settlements. Another city would be very bueno. Alright, boom, boom, and here we go. Contacting the Lasso's chapter. Andronikos, having slain the mutants he was sent to kill, was eager to contact the Lasso's chapter and tell them of his deeds. He had hoped that he had earned a place back home in California. The scribe set up a direct line to Elder Tony, to which Andronikos gave the full report. And he hoped he had was soon gone as the Elder informed him that the expedition was to hold in Oregon. He pleaded that they had done their job, but the Elder said they were investigating reports of a more dangerous threat in Washington. Before Andronikos could say another word, the line went dead. We shall hold here, then, for now. Wow. That is... Ooh, baby, that's not nice. I guess we'll have to search the vault. I guess we might as well. I wonder if this is going to go away eventually. Mm. Project Empire. Absolute authority. Does, do we get rid of this? I, I hope you, we do. If that's the case, I don't want to do that one yet, then. Um, let's do it for forming Purple Squadron. Purple Squadron was the name of the detachment led by the Andronikos. It was made up of elite soldiers, but with our surroundings, we must adapt. Purple Squadron shall be remade into an army of the Brotherhood, which strives for excellence and tolerates nothing but the best. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, with 32 monies, um, military standing bonuses actually might be really good for us to do. What conscription level are we at, actually, currently? Paladins, that's not bad. That's really not too bad. Could be better, though, but oh well. Uh, up next, we're going to do consult the scribes. Infantry weapons win the battle. Land doctrine would not be bad. I do like rigorous training, though. I like slightly more organization and uh, just five world goals time. So, drilling our army helps not only the fitness of our men, but their discipline. Thus, we shall train hard over the next couple of weeks to bring up back, bring our back up to tip-top shape. Nice. How are these guys going? 
We have six. That's good. Go and expand this. So this way, eventually, we can expand our infantry some more. Which would be nice. Rabbit deployment. Thank you. And if you need to, keep training, keep training, keep training. My goodness, we need so much more army XP. Awesome. And rigorous training. Up next, let's grab some more military factories, because that is always nice to do arms for the army. To complete our mission, we will need more equipment for more troops. Or equip more troops. To do this, we must build more armament factories. Now, we can do backbone of the army here. For 5% more production cost for power armor or an armored spearhead. I'm honestly going to go with this one, just because we love power armor on this channel. I probably love it a little bit too much. Eventually, we do want to restore the laboratory as well, though. But we do this with Titan on our grip. That's not bad. I like that a lot. Fuel the war machine. And by traders. That's not bad either. And arms with arms. So we get those factories done as soon as possible. Work for protection. Ruthless efficiency. Create the cast system. I like the cast system. I don't want to do that one really. I really don't want to do that one. Get some barrage balloons next. Thank you. And happy 2276. But let's see. This one requires all the following. So we got to do all of it. Industrial planning would be nice. I would like to give that one city, but whatever. Consult the scribes. The scribes have a great deal of knowledge to share with our army. By studying with them, we can ensure better preparations for missions in the future. Not bad. Now let's go in. Since we have so much army XP already, screw it. We have no manpower now, but whatever. 20 combat with, at least at the very minimum, would be muy bueno. It's fine. You can cancel a few more of these. That's fine. Cool. Let's have them go on. Thank you. Consult the scribes. And we're going to need a few more guns. And by a few more, I mean quite a few more. Oh, baby boy, that's not bueno. But we're looking okay, so we can go to war with these guys. Where it's going to be one heck of a fight against these guys, so. It doesn't really matter who gets that. Oh, warrior training, nice. Hand warband is gone. I need to play a hand warband sometime. Uh, let's see, wasteland PA, that'd be kind of a waste right now. Uh, that's a little bit ahead of time, too. Hmm. Support equipment? Yes, please. Getting sods for these guys for defense and dynamite would be really good for more south attack. Land his cohort declared war on them, folk. What are we missing here? Uh, just a little bit of circuitry. That's not too bad, though. It's just for power armor, which we do have a quite a good amount. What wins battles? Brute force can only get a man so far. We must study tactics that will win us battles. No qu questions about that. And then we'll do an armored spearhead. Focusing on making more power armor is vital if we want to field more paladins. However, our production of laser rifles would suffer. It's only 5% worse cost. For 10% better production cost for power armor, as muy greatness. Muy greatness, yes. I speak so much Spanish. Can we actually do this again? No, we can't. Well, it's too expensive because we don't have enough of that, which is okay. And actually, can you guys? No. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, people are dying here. And that's okay. Alright, and muster the men. Our army has been refined and we're ready to better prepare for whatever Andronicos has planned. We shall muster our men, perhaps give an inspirational speech or two, and be ready to face the honorable deaths. <sighs> Nothing like an honorable death. Nothing like it. Uh, do I actually be... Ooh. If that's a case, let's go and build at least one thing here of planes. We're working on that quite a bit, but it'll be done, hopefully, by the time we go to war with these guys over here. Which could be a while, but... Hmm. At least these guys are 20 combo with which is very nice. We need more infantry. Oh, we need anti-tank? Oh, do they have anti-tank? Oh, do they have anti-tank on them? Whoopsie. Muster the men. Nice. After that, utilize pre-war blueprints. Troops of the Crusade? We could do that. Assert our control. Oh, that stuff is all nice. Let's utilize pre-war blueprints. We found several blueprints which will help us research advanced equipment. Not bad. It's going to take a while to get that, but that's okay. And so at least this way we can start making some planes and training in air air wing at the very least that is quite good to do further occupation not bad still not too bad actually but that minus 40 percent construction speed oh baby that's not good because we made our divisions 20 combo with i'm not feeling too bad about our infantry so we'll see what happens troops for the crusade a crusade is nothing without the men to fight in it. Send up messengers and find those willing to fight and die for glory and an honorable death. Actually, do we need both of these? Yeah, we need both, all three, to get a four, because I would like to get rid of that as fast as possible, but it's going to be there for a while. So we do have anti-tank. We probably need to make that. Uh, let's grab some sauce for the infantry first. Do we actually have anti-tank? Yeah, we do. Oh, I forgot about that, huh? And yeah, let's grab some of that, too. We're going to need that. Mm, there you go. That would be at least good enough. One a week is really not good, but whatever. Clickens Crusade. Oh, is this the same? Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you. And then what? Un 
Will unwavering resolve. That is not bad. Look to the skies. Oh, we get airbase air anyways. Power armor gets more soft attack. That's nice. We're still a laboratory. Well, power or tradition. Advanced power armor or ver oh, we have to choose. I don't want to choose. Advanced power armor versus those. Oof. 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 No, 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 no. I do not want to choose between both those. Oh, sorry. I let technology go on. My bad. That's completely my fault. Oh, boy. My bad. I don't want to choose. I don't want to choose. No. You can't make me choose. We'll do unwavering resolve. At this point, the one small crusade has grown both in terms of men and fervor. Already more flocked to our camp to join us, and we shall give them a purpose to fight for the Brotherhood and Andronicos. Andronicos. Cool. Yeah, if we go to war, these guys are going to really smack us in the mouth. And not in a good way. Oh, uh, yeah, no special forces like that. That's fine. Uh, our production is just really not good right now. Oh, baby boy. Oh, man. So we already went to here, which is fine. Economic advisors, anything else? Uh, construction is plus 20%. Journeyman Odabai. Obadiah. All right. And what do we have down here? Oh, that's so good to do. I should have done this one earlier. I'm going to grab that. 0.10... 10% more is like 0.2 basically, so that's actually really not bad. How many divisions do they have? 1,000 manpower, up to 22. We have five. Not bueno, but making sure all of our guys are really good is probably super important. And do we have enough power armor for that? No, we do not. Oh, crud. Crud. All right, let's go over here and get more with your speed. Follow it up with... Better planes, yes please, and look to the skies, steel cataphrax. Let's do assert our control. By creating, nah, we could do that, but let's do this one. Our scouts have reported that an odd structure lay to the north of our camp. A single shed on a hill, it took some time to actually get into. But once inside, they found what looked to be a vault tech vault, mysteriously missing a number. Now that we've ordered, have orders to hold our position, we have time to go about exploring the vault. Though it will take some considerable amount of resources and manpower to do so according to the scribes. Hopefully that debuff goes away some eventually. Oh, that'd be so bad to have still. Hey, we bought another city, though. And we have at least one of these, so we can throw some gliders here. It ain't much, but it's honest planes. There you go. Good luck. I hope we get quite a bit of air XP as well. 0 .004, that's not a lot. Whatever. So after this one, we will go ahead and do restore the laboratory. We can set up labs for the scribes to properly conduct their work and research inside the lower levels of the vault. With equipment already present, it would, be, it would contribute greatly towards both the scribes and the expedition as a whole. So that's not too bad. Minus 25% is so bad, though. Oh, it's so bad. Land doctor is coming along, which is nice. We could do special forces stuff, too. Let's grab this one. Improvise tools for bonus for that stuff. That'd be really good. That could be better. 0.95 could be a lot worse. Hmm. At least we got 7.5 more percent defense. Which is not too bad, seeing as this guy gives you minus 5%, so... I think even just going to war now would probably be a mistake. I don't know if the infantry could actually hold against these guys. They do have a thousand manpower, and they could probably pierce us anyway, so... Uh, what we're combo with is really, really good. There you go. And we're no longer going to increase their size. Oh, this is so bad. Minus 52. Wow. Let's the laboratory. Cool. Oh, man. The ruined vault is heavily guarded and many levels are sealed shut. It requires most of our men to explore the depths of the vault, as well as the full attention of Andronikos, who is leading the search. <sighs> Boy, that costs so much. How much money do we have? 74, that's not bad. At least we're working on a land auction. That's good. I guess up next, after this one. You know what? Let me know in the comments below. I'll, I'll say this for the next episode. Power over tradition. Should we do this one? Or should we do Vertiberg schematics? That's so... I love Vertiberg schematics. But let me know which one we should do. Planes or advanced power armor, which is really nice as well. Scavenging armory, that'd be really nice actually. Infantry production equipment, more slots, a fateful discovery, would be good, cool. But I want to go with industrial planning next. Nothing makes a scribe happier than finding out how to make a power generator. And finally, the fourth research slot. Um, let's go over here. Engineering, yeah, I'll do that one. That'd be very good to do. And resistors, nice. And that's a little bit ahead of time. That's a little bit ahead of time. We can go and do this one. Specialized Warfare. That's the way we can start working on our power armor divisions. Cultural Advisors. Stability War Sport would not be bad. Uh, that's okay. That's not bad. We do get plus 50% attack, so that's not bad either. Uh, that's okay as well. Research of, minus 10% recruitable population factor. Plus 20% construction speed. And more resource efficiency gain is actually really good. Field Medic. It's not bad. I really like that guy too. 
Oh, decisions, decisions, decisions. Oh, what do we want? Well, we're going to do a sort of control. By creating more roadways connecting the surrounding land, we can more effectively patrol the areas of unrest. I want to get rid of our debuff as fast as possible as well, so. Uh, go and get more output. I don't care if it's ahead of time or not. Mm. Can we change this? No, we cannot, which is which makes sense. Do we have anything special down here? Brother armaments. More, actually, 8% more max speed and reliability is not too bad. I think first, though, we'll probably go ahead and grab what? Chun's key, just so we can make cities slightly faster. It's not going to be that much faster, but it's slightly faster. And requisition resources. Much of the area's resources remain untapped. And by sending salvaging teams, we can put those resources to use. Sounds like a pretty good idea. We go to war, they'll attack us. Hopefully a whole bunch. I we just don't know. How many divisions do we still have? We only have still five. These guys just refuse to get created because we don't have enough equipment. Meh. We have three divisions and a single tile. We definitely can't compete against that. But what about the rib breakers? You know what? Crack their shells. So after this one, let's do tighten our grip. We've solidified our control on the territory we have conquered, and must now turn our attention to ruling effectively. We can destroy armies, but to prevent rebellion, we gotta tighten our grip. More political power, recruitable population factor, stability, construction speed, and factory output, which is gonna help out quite quite a bit. So let's go ahead and then go show the army. Let's position our guys in this direction, just because I think that would be great, because we'll probably take them out first and try to core their territory as fast as possible. I think that's probably for the best. Tighten our grip. So the next, we'll go ahead and go down and restore, or scavenge the armory. It only takes two weeks. It appears that the vault house an armory full of pre-war power armor. This will surely come in handy in the near future. Let's hope it does. That's why we're scavenging it. So, the code signal is very good. And happy 2277, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. This will be done in about a week. Roughly a week. Alright, so it's not terrible. One a day. That's not too bad. we got some behemoths. And fighters are slowly getting along here. Hit and run. We're almost done with our uh, land auction, too. Not bad. Not too bad. What takes so long to do? 13 days, that's not bad. We do have quite a bit of... Um, hmm. Anti-tank. Oh, we can make some saws. That'd be good, actually. We have nothing to spare right now. Yeah. Hmm. Paladins? We can throw on some so far, but that would hurt us a little bit, so let's not do that. Cool. And you guys, let's just go and do this one too. Special forces, and come over here. Vacuum tubes. Nice. Ba oh, we have refugees too. Okay, well. Um, we're not going to be able to do this anyways. Let's see. Assimilate into our states becoming civilians. Alright. Currently three. Alright, well, whatever. Encoded signals. Nice. We're going to wait for that stuff to get done. Let's get some more construction speed, because we could still use that. And since we have, need some more... <sighs> Ruthless Administrator. We need the resources. We could use the power of the construction speed boost, because after that, that's done. And scavenger armory. More po T-51B power armor is very nice. Very, very nice, actually. Stability is not too bad. After that, looting the stockpile? Yes, please. Along with other equipment, a large stash of advanced weaponry was found in the vault as well. Now it only needs to be hauled out, which could take some serious time. But now point nine every day is not too bad. How's this looking? Power armor focus. Oh, do we get rid of the thing? We still are exploring the vault, which sucks, but whatever. Looting the stockpile. Advanced machine templates. On the on one of the sublevels, a scribe found a database housing advanced machine templates, which would allow us to more efficiently produce guns. Nice. And we're going to assimilate some people here, hopefully. Probably not, actually. Nationwide drive. Integrate a month's worth of refugees straight into our hand in your pitch. Alleviate the stability penalty from unassimilated refugees. Uh, eventually, we, with technology, we can get rid of that stuff. So that won't be too bad. I can kind of ignore that for now. Uh, restore power. It appears as though the vault was powered with a fusion generator, which has since gone offline. By powering it back up, it would, only, it would not only power the rest of the vault, but Andronikos is told some power could be diverted back to the camp as well. Not bad. And we do have 17 uh, army XP, which is pretty good. Followed up with what? Refurbished factories. There are a number of automated machines inside that just need to be realigned in order to properly work. We get two more arms workshops. Actually, that can come in really handy. We get boom, boom, and then go with some boom, and then do some boom, boom down over here as well. So you go there and do boom, boom. Hey, we actually made divisions, finally. My goodness, that took forever to do. Hey, nice. That's a little bit ahead of time. Let's go ahead and grab basic tools. 
and restore power, let's go ahead and do refurbish factories. Nice. And do finish clearing the vaults. We get four more building slots. Much of the vault still remains covered by debris and dirt. We can clean and clear in remaining levels, the remaining levels, to provide much, much more space. How's our building? We've lost in a thousand manpower. That's okay. We're still building up some more cities, which uh, help us out for the long game, which I don't know how long this campaign will last. Maybe just two episodes. I don't know. At least the time it's recording. And then a fateful discovery. In the depths of the vaults, Andronikos le leads a team to uncover any remaining loot left. What he would find in those halls would be greater than any power, armor, or laser rifle. Project Empire. That's kind of cool. Uh, I kind of wonder what, what Project Empire has in store for us. Do we become an empire? An old Oregonian empire led by with power armor? That would be kind of nice. Oh, research? Yes? No? Okay. Actually, caps-wise, we are at what? 116? Eh, we can do this a little bit, maybe. Former department, perhaps? Maybe try to get another, at least another spot here. But at least we have six divisions. It's not great, but it'll work. And infantry equipment is looking worse now. Okay. Because we made two more divisions, all right. I want to make more power armor, but I don't think we can right now. Primitive radio, very good. And it's a little bit too ahead of time for me. Seed selection, get more manpower. And a field of refugees. A field of refugees, a monthly population, not bad. Keep going, we need more civvies. Why did our civvies go down? But we have 100 PP. What do we do with our PP? Devout warmonger? Uh, uh, research speed is nice and all. Scribe, decorative hero? That wouldn't be bad. What we're going to do with our PP is do this stuff. Hurt our civvies, hurt our research speed, just so we can get some more stability. That'd be very nice. Very, very nice, actually. I wonder what's in here, actually. But if... Oh, I do want to go to war as fast as possible. Former department, nice. Watch out for spies, just in case. And we can do this too. You know what? You might as well do that group. Let them go on and do that and do that. And probably do Port Ma as well. Uh, break the breakers. We probably want to do them next. And principle or purity? Well, I'm not sure if the Brotherhood's really about purity for now. Let's go principle. That'd be nice. And break the breakers. The tribe was known as the Rib Breakers are easy prey to our advanced technology. Conquering their land in the name of the Brotherhood will help satiate the bloodlust of the Crusade. And then we can assimilate them to get all their cores. So, that'd be nice. We have a permanent exile versus reconciliation. The final plea. Alright, well, that's cool. Four days left. And we have quite a bit of our XP. Oh. Technology. And doing this one, too, anyways. We're going to probably need some more energy cells eventually. And Project Empire. Deep in the vault. And Theronikos found a room hidden partially by debris that covered most of the door. He felt a sense of importance emanating from the rusted walls inside and ventured in only to find a single desk housing a powered down terminal. He took it back to his quarters at the camp and powered it up with the help of the scribes. In it, he uncovered the secret of the vault. It was a pre-war vault, constructed by a man referenced as only as the Oracle. The Oracle was a member of the Enclave who oversaw the construction of the vault, which was never used. He fled with the others when the war started, but he left his personal logs in the terminal, logs which detailed his project. Entitled Project Empire, the Oracle drew inspiration from the Roman and Byzantine empires, quoting them as examples of what the U.S. should become. Andronikos locked himself in the room, poring over the logs almost to the point of insanity. When he finally left, he faced the crossroads. He was determined to build a new empire to build the world anew. We have more political power, le way less just by world sense, and oh, we, and we get to remove uh, exploring the vault. Oh, that's so good. Or he rejected the oracle and continued the Brotherhood's mission. Oh man, another research slot would be so nice and handy. But minus fifty percent just by world sense and more daily political power, so we can core things. He rejected the oracle. Okay, so whatever path we take, it seems like we, we can do permanent exile eventually. And reconciliation, but I'll, I do want to let you know that this mod is not done. This mod is still in development, and the second half here with either one of these paths will probably be here for another time. So it's not bad either. No longer leads expedition. Well, hmm. Oh, he rejected them. I think I want to go with this one. Imperial ambition. I think that'd be probably best for now, just because I want political power and just by world's time. So we'll see what happens. As well as crack their shells. With absolute authority. Oh, that's not bad. I like that. Assimilate the tribes. Steal Catalfrax. Watch out for spies. Let's do steel technology. Follow it up with what? Work for protection? We could probably do that one. While the territories we own belong to the Brotherhood, not everyone living inside them are Brotherhood members. If they want our protection, we shall make them work. And if they refuse, they should be banished or worse. Nothing like a little peaceful coercion. Which is very nice. 4 out of 15, not great. And we do have people here. Uh, by having a foot in a country. And that's not ideal. Want to train some more? That's fine. 
We do have eight divisions, which is not too bad. How strong are these guys, actually? Up to 16 divisions. Wow, that's not great. But work for protection. Alright, I guess. Stop training for now. Let's see what we can do. Once we go to war, and once these guys get enough uh, organization, there you go. Well, good luck. You trained enough. They attack us. Can you actually do this, maybe? Maybe, maybe not. You can probably go around and maybe, perhaps. Alright, we'll see what happens. 57, not bad, not great, but not bad. They're attacking us, we're attacking them, we're doing relatively okay, not great. Seed selection is nice. Get plant cultivation. And, as long as, oh, I need you guys to hold out against these guys. Just pin them for now, and let these guys die. Work for protection? Ruthless efficiency. The wasteland is a ruthless place, and so too must we be. Every resource must be used, and no technology shall be held by those not in the Brotherhood or working for us. Yes. That, mean you, that means you, innocent farmer who uses the well to feed his family, hand over that water. Come on, guys. Please kill them off. Don't tell me they're doing last stand there. They literally did last stand. Oh, the AI was smart to do that. Oh, are you kidding me? No. Get them out. Get them out. Kill them off here. Come on. Oh, are you kidding? Just go. Kill them all off, then. No, that's so stupid. Do not let them around. We made an encirclement for a reason. And you have to die for that reason. Um, actually, can we go every cap for the army? That'd be good. It hurts our caps income, but whatever. At least using 20 combo is not terrible. You guys go this way. This is not great. How many men have we lost, actually? 122 versus 700 is not too bad. Oh, we were defeated there? Oh, no. You go die now. Through this efficiency, create the caste system. Adronic Cost has come up with a brilliant idea. By creating and enforcing a caste system, much like our own, for, under our, for those under our rule, we can better organize the work that must be done. They may not like it, but they will have to live with it. And they go in there, but whatever. It doesn't really matter to me. No, no, go this way. Go this way. Primitive radio. Nice. Let's go grab some of this. It's a little, little bit ahead of time, but not that ahead of time. So that's good. Two divisions, not terrible. I want you guys to go up here and go to Albany and Salem. Or we can go this way. We're not going to circle this, guys. Hey, die now. Die for our amusement. Are you kidding me, man? Are you kidding me? Well, at least we got the power armor. That's so nice to have. Alright, they died. Maybe had a few unnecessary casualties, but it is what it is with assimilate the tribals. The tribals, while primitive, can serve a purpose. We will have them work for us and provide us with food, and in return we shall provide them the protections of the Brotherhood. Seems like a fair, fair trade. And two days left. Multi-purpose equipment. Nice. We'll go this one. Alright, so now we got to get ready for these guys. We'll leave the infantry... Actually, no. We just have the infantry... How many slots? One, two, three, four, five. That's actually quite a few things here. We're going to have to wait a little bit then before we can really go to war with these guys. Yeah, that's not good. I don't trust that the infantry can do that well by themselves. But the power armor, I don't know, we'll see what happens. We're going to need to make more power armor divisions then. Cool. And we're out of manpower. That's right, we'll core this stuff pretty quickly. So, after that, we'll crack the shells. There is a so-called Marlock tribe sitting next to us, or residing next to us. As both mutants and target practice, we can wipe them out and give our men so much needed training, taking out two birds with a single stone. Nice. And about a week left for that, and actually, let's take a look. Twelve? That's not bad. That's actually not too bad. If we want to right now, we can go and do this. Put down some resistance there. There you go. Nice. Well, that's over. Crack the shells. Oh, yes, please. Another division. Actually, because of that, I'm going to separate you, you, and then you. Now, you guys actually come over here, then. So it's two divisions should be enough to hold out, maybe? Let's see what happens, though. Boom. Cool. All right. And let's grab what? Supply consumption goes down. That's so good. Let's do it anyways. Why not? 
And then, absolute authority. The kings and emperors of old did not answer to anyone but themselves. They cannot be hindered by the feeling of those they ruled, for they are just cogs in the machine. It is time for Andronikos, crack, to crack down on degeneracy and laziness, for the future is built with blood, sweat, and steel. Good Morapa. We need Morapa. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Especially, power armor is very bad. Then again, I mean, we're trying to make a lot of divisions here, so what do you expect? Minus 700 goes in. That's nah, not too bad. We got actually plenty of infantry equipment, too. Yeah. Over here, not great. Over here, okay, how many divisions do they have? And the swamps. Up to 31. That's not terrible, especially with the recon stuff. Grab some of that, too. That'd be very good. I'm a little worried about going to war with these guys. That's five divisions versus one. It is over the river, but still. Let's wait a little bit and do absolute authority. I want to get at least one more division out for our power armor before we do that. Do we need more equipment? Just so much for power. Just, let's get one more out. Get one more out. Come on, let's go. Let's go. And when can we deploy them? Current is 27.2. Refined Warfare makes plus 15. We need to get to 35%, though. Which will be happening very soon. Which will be happening, which will, which will happen. Oh, good. More you too. That'll just make our defense stronger. Ah, flexible designs is very nice to have. Be flexible. And... No more Marlex Post. Fuel the War Machine? I could probably do that. But let's do skill, Steel Cataphract so we can do even more soft attack, hard attack, defense, and breakthrough. Our power armor is one of the most important tools we wield. However, it can be used for a different purpose. By assuming the role of walking cavalry, we shall use our power armor to charge the enemy line, repl replicating the Cataphracts of the past. We're very kind of Greek-focused, which is not a bad thing at all. Ber Berebus? Or Ber no, Byzantine booze or something like that. Mm, yes. Radio, thank you. Um, you're not experienced, but that's alright. Go and stop training now. Three. Oh, this is such a bad idea. That is such a bad idea. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Two. One. Such a bad idea. But it might not be too bad, actually, overall. Nice. We're doing we're doing quite a bit of damage. I like it. Absolute authority is very nice too. Feel the more machine? No, I said still cataphract, so that'll be good. Um, technically we can move over there. I'm going to let them just kind of like ram our lines for now. The Marlurgs aren't super easy to get rid of. They do have some armor on them. So, I think it's best to uh, leave them the way they are for right now. Experience those losses. I usually don't get this guy. But helping us out for a decryption, not a bad idea. If you need to guys move over here, that's totally fine with me. Followed up with Feel the War Machine. The Paladins and Knights have been eager to get their hands on better equipment, so let's make sure they can and expand our military production capabilities. Not bad. And how many have lost? 76 versus 670? 670 is not bad. If we really want to, you can you guys move over there. There you go, good luck. And this gives us more ex time to get more experience, so. Can you actually upgrade? Yes, we can. We can upgrade these guys. I would like to get Savage Leader, so this will be good for everybody here. So we can go Savage Leader, so we get more attack. Because we will just do like general attacks eventually. Probably. We already did one, so. And you guys are good. And these guys, we'll probably keep these guys as infantry for now. Let's go with Mysterious Stranger for more attack and defense. Public projects, pretty good. Let's go standardized tools. Nice. And how much manpower do this, does this group have? That's a lot of divisions, of course. Stockpile, fuel the war machine. They got plenty of infantry equipment for now, but invite traders. By inviting traders and caravans to pass through our land safely, it'll no doubt bring a boon to our economy. Sign us up. We might want to grab some field hospitals, too. I love these short focus... Uh, short focuses that you can do a whole lot and create this steel forges we have run dry of fresh power armor and producing just one set take one set takes a tremendous amount of resources scribe adras has proposed we construct the steel forges a new set of factories to boost the war effort warrior coat and we're almost done with the land auction in the very first episode not bad hey you got some upgrades nice 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 so we have a pain train because our divisions each should have one some level of recon if we go 100 percent with the recon that might be really good, actually. Survivalist. I usually don't do a lot of these because it doesn't make sense when you're using power armor. So, division attack defense, commando, leader prowess. Yeah, let's go with that one. Sniper is nice and all, but we're not using spec ops. So, create the steel forges. That'd be actually very good for us. So, we can get some more. Oh, actually, we can throw some stuff on here and do that too. Awesome. Actually, how much? How many saws? Oh, we got hopefully enough to do night patrols. Ah, uh, we don't have enough army XP. That sucks. I'm probably going to raise the conscription level as well. Give out Warmonger. Meh. Infrastructure. I don't want her consumer goods. Infrastructure's not bad, but that wouldn't be very helpful right now. Brother the Scribe. You know what? We're doing okay anyways. Let's do this first. Let's do that one. Crop rotations. 
I feel like you about this because you were This time we're gonna grab some war support. Oh, proclaim the Empire Steel. The winds have changed both swiftly across the wasteland, and few can resist its power for too long. While we make ourselves the Brotherhood expedition today, we may find it right to change our identity as we forge a new path. The Ma Walla Walla? Cool. Moose capital to ruin vault. We shall gain cores on the lands we conquer to create a new empire. That's kinda cool. Well, I guess we'll go and do look to the skies. Land combat is comprised of both troops on the ground and those in the air. We have been unable to effectively control the skies, but as our foes, foes become stronger, we must look to better our aerial capabilities. We lost 241 versus 2000. That's not too bad. Night patrols, you're actually not getting attacked as much as I thought you would. Let's do that. Digging it a little harder. Are they really not going to move over here? Alright, well, we can try it. It's probably a really, really, really bad idea. There you go. There you go. We really want to get a little risky. We can do that too. Let's get some. I don't usually don't. I haven't used this in a while. But let's go and grab some of this healing powder. Actually, come back down here. We're going to do some more of that stuff. But let's go do this. Get some aid. Now we're going to wait. Do this stuff. It's going to hurt our research speed and stuff like that, but whatever. Let them hit us a little harder. Ooh, their militia's not looking good. Nor are their enforcers. They must be out of equipment. Look to the skies and then aerial training holotapes. By having our men use ho training holotapes, we can safely hone their abilities without leaving the ground. Sounds really good. Can you guys actually push into them? You guys, oh yeah, you can. They're still attacking us a little bit, so not too bad. Actually, can you go here and there? If we can encircle the enemy's divisions, that'd be really nice. Begin and go. Come on. Oh, we got him. We got him before they died. Cool. Just don't get us encircled as well. I want you guys to go. Can you guys go, actually, as well? Ghoul operative captured, alright. This is pretty darn risky. Ooh, they did cut us off a little bit. But we are pushing through, so. I need both of you to focus right here. Good. Restore this. Um, okay then. You know what? I'm going to wait for tomorrow, so we we'll just collect a lot of PP then. Screw it. I prefer to have the PP, to be honest with you. Hold and go. Just go out, spread out. Alright, you guys, maybe stop doing that. Oh, kind of because you guys didn't have orders over here. Yeah, that makes sense. Let the power armor do everything they need to do, so that'd be good. Can you take the crow lands? Nice. You guys, hold on. Don't worry about attacking. They might attack us, actually, so that's fine with me. And just let it kind of go on, because I'm going to wait for you guys' opinions. Since we're here, though, and 60%, we should be able to go here, right? No? Wait, why can we do this? Um. We can't go to senior... Oh, we don't have enough PP. Duh. Duh. Duh, Mr. Mokalever. Duh. And now you should be able to win there. And now we should be able to move through here then. Because these guys are moving around, so... Guys, can you please just go in? Alright, you guys. Well, if you don't want to move, all manually control yourselves. There you go. And you guys go right there. And then you guys go... Arago. Because we'll take the crow lands. Hopefully very, very soon. Hopefully we can actually cut these guys off. That'd be really great. Oh, and we... Well... So that's only 13 divisions. Not bad. Could be worse. Could be a lot worse, actually. Oh, militia. Oh, militia. Uh, get a trireme. Let's go make only one, and then do some of uh, this stuff. Not bad. Yep, that's why I wanted to come down here, because they're running out of equipment. We've lost. Oh, god dang it. Hey, but not too bad, actually. Not too bad. Alright, I guess we'll do next. No more Marlurks. The Marlurks have been eradicated, and their lands are ready to be settled. Very cool. Oh, but we do have to settle this stuff, then. You guys will have to come down here. We're going to need more, way more infantry for this. Actually, we've been doing quite well for, with our divisions, I would say, so far. There you go. And get one more, too. Nice. Very nice. No more Marlurks, and then I guess we'll do the final plea. It has been months since we last heard from the Lost Hills chapter. Since then, we have proven our worthiness, spelled blood in the name of the Elder, and brought peace <clears throat> to the tribes we have conquered. This should be more than enough to convince the Elder we are ready to return. Yes, we will go home. Hopefully, as long as the Elder says yes and bueno. If the Elder does not say bueno, do we really want to go home? Probably not. We're going to do that. It's fine. Uh, we do need more divisions. Actually, how many caps do we have right now? Because I don't think we got another trade node. But then again, I always forget about trade nodes. We have no, we have no trade nodes. Okay, actually, so, oh, I'll put it back. We need to get Westport, which we probably won't. We can get go to a royal, actually. Let's manually go to war with a royal, probably. But let's do the final plea. 
Nice. We should be ready to return. We should be ready. We got actually a lot of stability, too. That is very nice. Come back over here and do this. You can see analysis. Very good. And we've done very, very well with our land auction already as well. So you guys might be able to do actually okay against these guys. Oh, yes, please. Oh, what are we missing? So much power armor. Oh, my goodness. There you go. Not bad. Not bad at all. And get some more plans because plans are always worthwhile. Uh, let's see our PP for now. We'll see what happens. Refugees. Uh, we can do a nationwide assimilation drive. Eh, what does it matter? And we'll finish our land auction in this episode. With Champions of Virtue. Nice. After this, we'll probably go ahead and grab some dynamite. We love dynamite here. We love it when things go kaboom. Nice. And since we're here, how much support equipment do we have? That would be 428. And throw this on. Do we have enough? Absolutely. Not bad. And I do want to see what this last one says. So, <clears throat> the final decision. Andronikos has given his life to the Brotherhood. He has done everything for them. He fought and lost good men all for the Brotherhood. Surely he has proven himself more than worthy to be accepted again back home. After weeks of trying, the expedition made contact with the Elder Tony once again, and Andronikos made his final plea. Once again, he was met with only betrayal. Tony told Andronikos that he may return home, but shall be stripped of his rank and live a quiet life in the barracks, for they cannot risk him causing another diplomatic catastrophe. Behind the armor of his helmet, Andronikos' faces. His face was drained of all color. After everything he had done, and they saw him as an outcast, a child who could not be trusted, he had but one choice to make. Andronikos succumbed to the madness. Oh... He agreed and went home. Oh, what ha Oh, oh, oh. So we have this one has been betrayed or reconciliation. And if we send the veterans home, no longer leads the expedition. You know what? I'm going to leave this up for you guys to decide. Which way should we go? Should we go with Andronicus to come to the mass madness or Andronicus agreed and went home? But if you enjoyed the video, please do consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow as we figure out what final decision we will take for this campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.